So let's take a look at how we do resonant structures for carbon dioxide. And I'm not going to do the whole uh, Lewis structure of carbon dioxide. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use the starting point uh, where we get to and we have to make some decisions about where to put multiple bonds. And so uh, we have our carbon atom here, then oxygen there that has three pairs on it, and we get the same on this carb on this oxygen atom here. At this point, we've used up all of our uh, uh, all of our electrons, and we can see that carbon only has four electrons around it. So we're going to bring a pair of electrons from here and put it down here. Okay, and that's going to get us to this point. And we see that uh, carbon is still not satisfied. So at this point, we can do one of two things. We can go this way and actually, let me go back there. Let me change color arrow. We can go this way where we take a pair of electrons here and form a double bond. And so that would give us this. Or what I could have done is taken another pair from the same oxygen, gone this way, and given us this. Both of those uh, structures um, satisfy all the octets of all the atoms. And uh, on that, where we very first got started here, uh, instead of taking the pair of electrons from the right-hand side, we could have taken it from the left-hand side. And that would have given us an entirely different structure altogether. Well, not completely different, but it would have put the triple bond on the opposite side. So we could have also ended up with this structure. So what we have now is three different resonance structures. Triple bond on the left, two double bonds, triple bond on the right.